Hi, this is Joseph Backham with the Family Policy Institute. Another exciting day here in the office. A little after 10 o'clock this morning, we were visited by media asking about a 1030 meeting, which we had no idea about. But what we didn't know is that a protest had been planned for our office at 1030 this morning, and a press release had been sent out to the media, and they, of course, uh, came to cover the protest. What happened was that three people from my local transgender group um, brought a bunch of postcards saying, I support trans economic and racial justice. And with a note on the back addressed to me saying all of these things ultimately concluding in initiative 1515 is a bad thing. We didn't allow them in the office because we didn't really know what to expect. However, I did have a chance to go out side of our office and have a conversation with them about the subject, hear what some of their concerns are, and provide some responses. Now I'm going to let you listen to that conversation in just a moment, but a lot of media was there covering this story. And what I want you to do is watch this conversation, then watch the news coverage of this and see if what actually happened is consistent with how it's broadcast tonight. You'd like to speak with Joseph back home? Out of our state! Flush hate out of our state! Flush hate out of our state! Make restrooms safe for all! What do you say to people that, that have concerns, you know, with children and say that they would like to be able to take their child into a restroom uh, and not be confronted with someone that presents, in a, you know, in a different way than their child's ready to deal with. I think children can are ready to deal with a lot, and if the parent is uncomfortable, then maybe the parent should be the one not going into restrooms, not trans people who are just trying to use the restroom. Are you a parent? I'm not a parent. Well, I mean, you know, so you're speaking. You're speaking for other parents. You're speaking about how what you think children are capable of doing, yet you're not a parent yourself. So, recognizing everyone's rights, like the right of people to discriminate against people like me and remove me from the bathroom that I should be in. Well, there are some people who are not comfortable sharing certain spaces with people of the opposite gender. And what some call discrimination, others call healthy boundaries. And I think it's appropriate to have a conversation that balances everyone's interests. And there are also a lot of other people in the state. I am the father of three daughters. And there are a lot of parents and there are grandparents when they send their kids to school that they have the expectation that when they dress or undress or what they're exposed to, that they will have some control. And the new rule disempowers them so that kids in school and women and children just in public at the gym, they no longer have control over who they expose themselves to in vulnerable situations. And I think that that's not respectful of them so ultimately, when we resolve this, we have to do so in a way in which everybody's voice came to the table and we reach a solution where everybody's rights have been taken. Well, why are you trying to pass legislation which actually endangers our public safety? Yeah. Public safety. We, we, here's what we agree on. Yeah. Everybody believes in public safety and everybody wants everybody to be safe. So right. you have rights and I have rights and everybody has rights. And sometimes in a public space, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a community, those rights come into conflict. And so what we need to do is we need to have a solution where everybody's rights are allowed to be taken into consideration. By like and, removing and, and our... What, what has happened rights. with this rule is that it is now illegal for the owner of a gym that I go to, mm -hmm. if I tell them that I am female, they face legal liability if they try to stop me from going into the women's restaurant. That's the legal framework that exists right now, and that's a problem because there are tens of thousands of sexual predators who are registered in Washington State. And it gives them a legal right to be present somewhere. But they don't belong, and we would all agree, they don't belong there. But they have a legal right to be present there just by declaring themselves to be that gender. Okay. And that is not responsible public policy. And that's why ultimately this rule has to be. So, you know, I think we're just, we're not going to well, see Well, obviously I, we're not going to agree. Yeah. Well, will yeah, you accept our... And that's fine. Will you, like, well, accept no, our I, I love it. Well, I, will, our, I will. I will. I, I, I love the toilet. I think it's uh -huh. beautiful. And we will, we will display it. Uh -huh. And so, I think, yeah, I think it's awesome. So, okay. of course we will. And, and, and you guys, uh, next time, we'll have a conversation. I love the conversation. You don't necessarily mm -hmm. need to bring all these guys with mm -hmm. you. Um, because that's more of a stunt than it is an actual, like, 
and the effort to have a conversation and come to understand. I think there's a lot of things we probably agree on mm -hmm. if we had the chance to have a conversation. What are you doing the postcards? To doing that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And so feel free to reach out um, in a you know in a less you know, you know um, aggressive manner, mm -hmm. and I would be happy to have that conversation. All right. All right. The real story of the day for me is not the protesters themselves, but who was covering the protest. Anybody has any right if they want to, to show up at some office and dump off postcards or make a point or leave a note or, you know, say their piece. But what's interesting about this is how thoroughly it was covered. A press release was sent out by a, a three or four protesters this morning, and at 10.30, every television station in the city of Seattle and the AP showed up to cover that issue. And really what that's indication of is when they say jump, the press says how high. Why does that matter? Just remember that when it comes to the coverage that you get. They are definitely working for one side of this issue and they are doing what they're told. Just keep that in mind. This is Joseph Backholm with FPI Denver.